Hello children, in the previous class we discussed the transformer concept. As we promised you that today we are going to discuss the numericals based on transformers. Children, how many numericals we have? Four numericals we have. Very simple. So, though these uh, numericals are not there for a board examinations, it is very important to understand so that you will get the complete concept about the transformers. So, indirectly they might uh, include the questions based on this in you know, a board examinations too. Okay, fine. Look at the first question, children. Yes, even you can look at the question even on board also when you are solving. And as I told you that, you know, many times I told you that, yes, whenever we are discussing numericals, soon after seeing the numerical, just pause the video, try the numerical, comment your answer, right or wrong to know your answer is right or wrong, just you can press the enter button so that what will happen, our video will be resumed so that you can watch it. Okay, fine. Look at here. So, children here. So, as per this question here, as per the question here, wait a second, yeah, as per the question here, it is given that in this coil, number of turns are 100 and the magniflux is changed from 5 milliweber to 0. So, there is a change in magniflux. Children, whenever there is a change in magniflux, there will be a EMF. So, they are asking us to calculate the EMF. Look at here, children. So, first of all here, how to calculate the EMF, children? Yes. So, here EMF is equal to number of turns into change in magnetic flux is there any time is given here yes you know uh, 5 seconds it is given so d by by dt okay that's great fine children here so milli means what 10 power minus 3 so this is going to be 0 0.005 weber try to understand okay fine so n is equal to 100 okay 100 it change in magnetic flux because 5 minus 0 so it is going to, of course here already minus will be there I don't understand final minus that is 0 minus 5 milliweber it is going to be minus 5 milliweber so minus into minus plus don't get confused here 100 into 0 0.005 by 5 so 5 ones are 5 0 0.001 so 100 into 0 0.001 it's going to be 0 0.1 volt 0 0.1 volt so this is how actually we have to solve is it clear fine or else this on this can be written like this also how 100 into sorry 100 into not 100 into uh, 10 power minus 3 volt okay so this can be written as 100 milli volt also because after getting the 0 0.1 volt many students are thinking that sir you got a wrong answer in a textbook it is given 100 milli volt so that can be changed it's not a big task okay fine so hope it is copied fine now the second you look at here it is given that in a, a number of turns in the primary call 800 number of turns in the second call 8 and uh, emf in a primary call is 220 volt then they are asking us to find the emf in a secondary coil so we know this relation right so here es by ep is equal to ns by it is np so here ES is equal to this is going to be NS by NP into it is going to be EP. So, this will be NS is what should it is 8 by 800 and EP is going to be 220. So, 8 ones, 8 hundreds. So, 220 by 100 will be how much children? So, EMF will be 2.2 volt. This much EMF means here what happened here? It is reduced means what? It is a step down transformer. Fine. And here is, it is a T4 transformer. <laughs> this is a bell actually. Let us think that. So, the input voltage from the AC supply is 240 volt, but electric bell needs 8 volt it seems. So, it is converting 8 for 240 to 8. It is a step down transformer. Step down transformer. So, in order to decrease the voltage to 8 volts, what should be the number of turns in a secondary coil they are asking if the prime number of turns in primary coil 4800. Again, same formula we have to use, but we have to calculate NS value. So, here NS is equal to children. So, this can be ES by EP into NP. That's it. So, secondary will be it's a 8 by primary is 240 into 4800. So, here 240 ones, 242, 20 is if I am not wrong. Yes, 18 to 20 is how much more? 160. So, number of turns in a second column 160. Anyhow, the number of turns in primary column 4800 in the second column should be less. 
so then only it acts like a step down transformer okay na? just copy this so the fourth one the last numerical which we'll try to uh, discuss look at here uh, e input or we can say it's a e primary also don't get confused so it is given 220 volt it's the r children so e output or secondary it is given 44 volt then they are asking us to find the ratio, turns ratio turns ratio they are asking children we know that turns ratio is equal to actually number of turns in a secondary coil by number of turns in the primary coil but ns by np is equal to es by ep right so this can be written as es by ep so es is given how much children 44 by it is 220 so just you substitute here uh, 11 table 11 fours are 44 11 20 okay fine so this will be 1 by 5 so this is n is equal to 0 0.2 0 point means what it's a less than 1 so it is what actually <coughs> step down transformer or ratio if you want is a 1 is to 5 also you can write turns ratio means 1 is to 5 which means what here number of turns in a second coil to the number of turns in a primary coil this is going to be 1 is to 5 1 by 5 1 by 5 and the second part they are asking us to calculate the ratio of what children is a current so here they are asking the current in input current uh, they are asking us to calculate if the output current is uh, 2 amperes is given so here they are saying current in the secondary coil let me just uh, take this space i think here this space is needed so output current is given they are asking us to calculate the input current so here output current that is in a current in a secondary coil or output current this is given 2 ampere then they are asking us to calculate current in a primary coil or input current is equal to how much so we have a relation right what is that here so is by ip is equal to so we can say uh, e uh, p by es so the secondary coil current is given 2 amperes by current in the primary coil they are asking us to calculate which will be ep is equal to how much is given 220 volt 220 volt so es is given is a 44 so this is going to be a 5 am i right fine so here ip is equal to 2 by 5 so current in the primary coil is 0 0.4 ampere that's it so ip is equal to 0 0.4 ampere current so these are the uh, very you know uh, four, four numericals only but simple numericals children but concept based if you are okay with the transformer if you are okay how emf is related to the number of turns and how uh, what we can number of turns are related to the uh, currents in primary call second call then only you are able to do it so children with this we successfully completed the electromagnetism chapter as we promised that yes in a couple of days we are going to apply the one shot video on electromagnetism okay children thank you so much all the very best